Another week, another weekly reset. This is the weekly reset where we go over stuff such as Nightwave, Tessian, so on and so forth for the week. There will be ton codes in the description below. Let us begin with Nightwave, shall we? So, first we have complete three Void Flood missions. Now, it's important to note that you will have to have completed the Angels of Simon quest in order to even do this particular um, bounty or rather act. Complete five syndicate missions. So, just go do syndicate missions. Pretty straightforward themselves. And then we have defeat five void angels in the Zarmon. Now, this was bugged a little bit ago. So, um, it was bugged in the sense that it only counted the person who hit it last at defeating it. I'm not sure if it's still bugged. Try it at your own risk with other people. But... Yeah, it was bugged the last time. Then we have survived for over 20 minutes in Kuba survival. Now that over 20 minutes, it can be confusing at time, but basically it just means 20 minutes or more. At 20 minute mark, it does count. So definitely keep that in mind. Then we have the one that are here all the time, kill 30 XMS, complete 15 missions, and kill 500 enemies. These are literally just ones you can complete by playing the game. And that for credit offering, definitely recommend picking up corrosive projection and steel charge. If those are the only two odds you ever get. They are the two most important ores in my humble opinion. You can get the rest if you want to like catch them all or whatever, but those are the most important ones as far as I'm concerned. Then we have alternate skins and alternate helmets as well as the wolf hood blueprint for the Wolf Hood for the Operator. And then we have this and this together make a boss fight. Very annoying boss, but still a boss. Nonetheless, these are fully built Orkin Cadillac and Orkin Reactors. And then, of course, this is how you get Phobon. His blueprint is actually in the market for credits. So, that's why it's not here. Now, let's see what Hologram Teshin had to offer. If you don't have this option, there will be a link in the description below to a video where it will show you step-by-step -step how to unlock this particular option. It looks like all he has is a Zor Ribbon mod. But on the plus side, I can pick up another one of these. That's good. He does sell Kuva and Relic Packs, but keep in mind that they are 25 per customer per week. So once you buy 25 of these, they won't reset. So you can get 25 of these and 25 of these. And you won't be able to get any more until next week. So definitely keep that in mind. Now for the circuit. Excalibur, Trinity, and Ember. Those are the frames to choose. Well, Excalibur is one of the starter frames. Uh, Trinity is Trinity and Ember is Ember. I'm going to choose Ember for the purpose of this. Thing, but it's entirely up to you what frame you choose out of. And now on to the Steel Path version. Now, 
I just noticed something. I'll be honest, I thought I had all of them. So I'm a little surprised that I don't have this one. But we're going to go with it. And we want, we already have everything else. So we're just going to go over and pick this. Hit confirm. And then as you can see, these are the things that we will be getting. Well, we might get through that week. We'll see what happens. The Archon Hunt. This is the Archon for the week. And this is the color Archon chart that she drops. It's a 100% chance to get the Archon chart itself. But this percentage here might be different for you. It determines uh, the chance it has to become a Talford. If it's at 20%, that's the bare minimum. If you don't get Talford, it goes up by 20%. If you do, it resets back to 20% until you're guaranteed to get a Talford. But you do always get an Archon Shy. Okay, Talford is based on the percentage. And then we have Sabotage. Defense and Showdown. Showdown is basically the equivalent of an assassination. It's not quite an assassination, but for the purposes of this explanation, it's an assassination. But the game doesn't acknowledge it as such. And then finally, we have Cause Garrison. Let's look at the Archon Shard that Chipper had. This is the Archon Shard Chipper has. I do want to note something though. Chipper is not going to be selling Archon Shards forever. So definitely keep that in mind. He's not going to be selling Archon Shards, I believe, when the new update Dante Unbound hits. So definitely... Keep that in mind. Then we have Call. Nothing had changed for me with Call. His mission don't change unless you have completed it at least once for that week. So definitely keep that in mind. And that is everything I have to tell you guys. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful in some way, shape, or form. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.